Hey friends, it's great to see you again today. I'm excited to share with you a little bit more about our Holy Week story and about the important things that Jesus did and he said as he was not just readying himself for the cross, but all of those around him in his community, helping them to understand the importance of what he was doing. Now, yesterday we talked about how Jesus came into Jerusalem and as he was coming in, <clears throat> riding on a donkey, people saw him from afar and they took palms um, from the trees and laid them in his path. Um, this was an act of honor. It was an act of acknowledging Jesus's righteousness and, and they saw him as, 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 an, as a king. And so as Jesus came in, he did what he usually did when he came into a city. He went to the temple. Now, the temple for the Jewish people is their house of worship. And just like we, you know, we call our churches and Jesus did just what you would do when you go to a house of worship. He went there to meet God. He went there to worship, to pray, and to be with God's people. So today, what I want to do is I want to share with you about what happened when he entered into the temple. Jesus came into the temple, Jerusalem's house of prayer. He was surprised by all the people and upset by what he found there. There were lots of buyers and sellers. It had become a marketplace. The temple used to be holy, but now it was a disgrace. Jesus knocked over the tables and he sent the sellers away. The temple was God's house, so he cleaned it out that day. The priest did not like him. They were afraid of his teachings. He threatened their authority because people like Jesus' preaching. The priest had seen his miracles. He healed the blind and lame. They watched the children praise him. For him, the people came. The leaders started planning. Jesus had made a mess. They now had a reason to blame him. Surely he would confess. So Jesus has gone into the temple and found people setting up stores and tables for selling items, and he is furious. And this is one of the few places in scripture where we find Jesus really get angry. And he had a lot of opportunity to get angry. I mean, his friends betrayed him. I mean, the world crucified him. We never saw anger in him. But to see his father's house, to see the temple, to see a place of worship be misused, that infuriated him. So yesterday we had our Palm Sunday egg with the palm that reminds us of the palms that were laid before Jesus to honor him as king. Today we have a new egg. Inside we find the egg with the temple on it. This was the temple in Jerusalem where Jesus went to worship. And when you see this Monday story egg, think of God's house of prayer. Remember the amazing miracles and the teachings that he shared there. It is written in Matthew chapter 21. Jesus said, my house will be called a house of prayer and you have made it a den of robbers. So the way that we enter into God's holy place, the when we go to worship, that is important to Jesus. And it's important to God that we honor him in, in the right ways. So today, friends, as you continue to ready your hearts and your lives for Easter Sunday and the celebrations that will happen there, I hope that you will continue to join me each day as I share with you the, the, the different parts of, of what happened in Jesus's life that week as he as he journeyed to the cross and he readied his heart and he readied his friends, his discipled, disciples, and he readied his community. Thanks for being with me, friends, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow.